The Penn State EcoCar team was recognized at a recent State College Borough Council meeting. Mayor Elizabeth Gorm read a proclamation declaring April Energy Month. The Penn State Advanced Vehicle Technology Team is competing in a North American competition sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy and General Motors to create the most fuel efficient and consumer friendly alternative vehicle. Also, Pennsylvania Representative Scott Conklin showed his support for the team by touring our garage. Once the power is pulled back from regenerative braking, it goes back into there and it converts back into energy. The Penn State EcoCar team was also extremely honored to host Congressman Glenn Thompson for a visit. The congressman met team members and learned more about the EcoCar competition as a whole. We're almost done with year three, so we're getting ready to ship this off to um, Milford, Michigan and do a lot of car testing on Milford's Proving Ground. off our battery back here and when you're out driving around I mean most people drive less than that per day so you never have to use fuel but if you are going past the 40 or 50 mile marker then our engine kicks on and um, it is constantly recharging the battery. We have regenerative braking which you've probably heard of so when you're going up to a red light or a stop sign all the energy that's being used to stop the car is being sent straight back to the battery and recharging it. it. Yeah exactly. It was very encouraging to see that government officials at all levels are interested in and supportive of the team. It was a privilege talking with these officials about the future of the automotive industry and how Penn State engineers are helping to shape that future.